Hey everyone, it's Anna here at D's and we have a beautiful swag kit for fall for you for the 2021 season. And I am most excited about this one because it's incorporating beautiful blueberries and a navy pumpkin ribbon. Blue is so big for all seasons. We have some gorgeous blue Christmas stuff coming up that always sells super well. And we're definitely putting a lot of blue into fall this year more than normal. And today I'm gonna pair it with this beautiful neutral white pumpkin stem. So the reason I like this is because some people don't want to necessarily put blue with orange. They want to do blue because they have it in their homes and accent it with a more neutral look. So if you like it with the orange, we have that ribbon set, things like that up there. But today I'm going to put the blue with neutral. So I'm starting with this one. I've already fluffed it out a little bit and I'm going to make this like all the other swags. I just fluffed it out. We've got some really beautiful blueberries. We're going to do the exact same thing, fluff them a little bit, chop the stem and set that aside. And we're going to tie our ribbon. So today the ribbon is to die for. We've got our navy blue backed pumpkin. I am obsessed with this one. It's so beautiful. It's got the little green leaves too, which is gonna look nice. And this swag you can easily twist onto a boxwood like I'm going to, but if you have a lantern at home, this is gonna work great on the lantern. It's gonna work great on a grapevine, wherever you wanna put it. We're pairing it with a one and a half inch green dot. It's got an ivory dot in there too, so it goes really well with the pumpkin ribbon and the ivory pumpkin on the stem. Now we're just going to take our piece of cloth covered wire. Find it. And we're going to twist it onto our stem. Our stems, I mean. Okay, so you're just going to go right behind that pumpkin. I'm going to go kind of go down. So make sure you get both stems though. And this is like any other swag kit I've done. So if you've watched those, you know how to make this. Twist it on and now you're ready to twist it onto your wreath. So you don't necessarily have to do a wreath. You could do the lantern like I was saying. I'm gonna put it up here first and then I'm gonna show it to you on the top of a lantern too. So I'm just gonna twist this on and then I'm gonna fluff everything around. So let me get my Either side of that pumpkin. I'm gonna bring this one down a little bit. There's that tail. There's the other tail. So pretty. Those blueberries are a nice deep blue. So they add a nice color without being too, too bright. Now I'm gonna chop my tails. This one over here. And then those two are good to go. So you can see it's really pretty on the boxwood wreath. It shows up really nicely. If you have the boxwood wreath, they're up on shopdieselable.com. They're a great backdrop for all the swag kits, Halloween, everything like that. But you could easily put it onto a grapevine wreath if you like more of the traditional fall look or a lantern. Let me grab a lantern. I'm going to show it to you on the top of that. So when we do them on the lanterns, we basically just do the opposite with the stems where the majority of it kind of comes down instead of going up. So you're just gonna pull those longer pieces down the lantern and then the floral as well. Look how pretty that is. So either way, it's a nice way to start to incorporate blue if you wanna try out the blue trend, but you don't wanna change a lot of stuff. Twist it onto a lantern, maybe a wreath on your back door, and head to shopdieselouvel.com and get yourself this blueberry pumpkin swag kit.